There you go, <laughs> fantastic, even a little peacock feather in there. So let's see if we can get the day right. Welcome to the midweek Wednesday shave. From Russia, with love. I apologise to YouTube, <laughs> I get in trouble for using that probably. But, um, and that's where we're heading. Home like shaving, dot IU, safety razor. Be looking forward to this. Um, I had a couple of comments saying, have you seen this uh, new razor, and, you know, there's videos on it and from other shavers, but um, I try, um, well, I don't have time to watch videos, if I'm honest, a lot of videos, uh, especially when you do them yourself, but I do try and watch, don't comment on a lot, but I do watch uh, when I can uh, other videos, but if it's new to me, I try not to watch any um well, any videos on it, because uh, it, it's nice, I think, to have, uh, I'd like to give my opinion, it could be different, totally different to somebody else, it could be the same, uh, or it could be around, you know, the uh, roughly the same, couldn't it? So this is it, anyway, comes in a nice box, and that's the uh, specs on it, and this is the home light shaving, this is the full kit, uh, stainless steel razor. And it's made in Omsk. I hope I'm saying that right. Omsk in uh, Siberia. Cold air. And uh, just flip it open. Very nicely packaged, as most of these the high end stainless steel. Oh. Safety razor. Russia. Lifetime warranty. Wow. First time I've seen that. Little card, lifetime warranty. Fantastic. So that's a that's a very good start, very good sign. Okay, so what have we got? I can get it out, excuse me. Wow. <laughs> ah, that's well there. Okay, so there's the different plates and aggression plates there. You can see them. There's an open comb at the top and two uh, closed comb. Now the it says on here 0 0.69, 0 0.90, 0 0.90 open comb and a 1.18 gap plate in millimeters that is. And this is the polished version. Very heavy. It looks stunning and very well made by the looks of it. Um, this plate here is the 0.69, so that is the least aggressive that it comes on. Um, and it's got one of these, uh, I did have, washers. Now, I had a razor with this on before and they said it was used or put on for travel to save it rubbing. Um, but I know some people leave that on. Um, on their razor and that, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just show you now. The head I'm going to use, that's the 0.69, so that's the least aggressive. Um, that's what it looks like. Very solid. Nice bit of kit. So, I'm going to go with... I'm going to use the open comb. If I can get it out. God and then I'll place that one back in there. So that's four heads, four different aggressions. Fantastic. Oh, that's what I like. See these, these long slots here? That means it's going to sit perfect. Because I've had a razor with this before. And there they are on the, on the head. 
So you see that. So I've got a choice looking at these blades. A few Russian, I've tried a Russian product before. So we've got Russian blades. These. And them. But them are the ones I'm going to use. The uh, Swedish Super Steel. Now, some people say that these are Swedish blades, but they're, they're not. Well, they sort of. They're made of Swedish steel, but they're made in Russia. So, we'll place that brand new on there. The open comb, very well labelled, I'll say that, the gap and everything on it, um, gap 0.90 open comb this, so we'll see what it looks like, that's it close up, it feels solid, um, wow look at that, nice diamond sort of etched grip. Solid. Right, let's get on with it. So, I'm going to use a nice, and I'll use this for a while, Tale of Old Bond Street. Oh, did you see the camera there? Hello. Tale of Old Bond Street. Um, this is their Platinum Collection Shaving Cream. And it uh, comes with this lid. Absolutely beautiful. A very sort of, very posh. Musky, musk. Um woody cologne type scent really nice i'm going to put some of that in my bowl so how's the week going okay i hope nice been looking forward to this it's the first time i've had a russian sort of modern um well stainless steel razor so thank you to home like shaving this is this um, full kit, as I say, and this the starter kit, the Mocha Yaki 24mm synthetic, the Mocha um, brush. I haven't soaked it today. I'm just going to wet it on here. No need to soak it. There we go. Let do that, and I can wet the face. I'll get on with it. If my hair looks different, or if I look different, I've sort of um, just combed it back. I haven't had a hair because it's not a new style. It's um, it needs cutting. I was getting on my nerves, so I just go sort of. If I look different, right? Okay, let's lather this up. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, so weather been okay, is it? Because we've had some torrential rain. Um, been uh, yesterday, Tuesday, Tuesday morning. It was quite a hard frost when I was getting up. That's a defrost the windscreen. Um, it's a heated windscreen, mine. So I was lucky that way. But uh, it's the first sort of frost like that uh, this winter. And more to come, I suppose, but it was a lovely blue sky. You know them cold, clear days? I love that. Good day for walking them time. So this is absolutely, this is beautiful. Right. That's how you want it. Peaked to perfection. I did see, um, I think it was on a Facebook uh, review, or I can't remember now, some page. The uh, They say this is similar to the Rockwell um, 6S, is it? 6C, 6S. I don't have that. So, um, 
Wow, this is beautiful scent, go on. Absolutely stunning scent. Omsk. That's lovely. So we'll heat it up as we do, normally do. So here we go, this is the home like shaving uh, full kit. This is the um, 0.69 open comb stainless steel Russian razor. Here we go. So smooth, wow. And funny enough, I was gonna say, suit that blade, well it should do. <laughs> Just bear with me. Wow. Very smooth. Really, oh, I'm gonna check for it. Wait. No overhang. Wow. Not a thing. I can do it that way to show you. No overhang at all. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, that's a lovely scent. Um, very smooth. I don't know if it looks aggressive again, but it's obviously not their most aggressive plate. That's a lovely, smooth, comfortable, I should say. Um, doesn't feel aggressive for me, yeah, I'd say it's a, for me personally, it's a sort of mild to mid aggression, again. Well suited to that shaving cream as well. That was a lovely first pass. So we'll really we'll tell the true aggression on this and the third pass really. Because your first pass has got a lot of growth hair which sort of protects the skin, doesn't it really? Really nice. So what's your shave? Is it just a work shave, midweek shave, quick shave, close shave? <laughs> Lovely brush. Very smooth, but enough backbone to do his, to do the business. As I say, gorgeous scent. Really nice. I'll put a link to they've got a YouTube channel. Um, is it home like shaving? It's, it's a thing on here about it, but uh, uh, all their shaving products. But they also got um, a video on there about vaping. They do vaping products, I think, if that's your thing as well. So, I don't know if they make this stuff, but uh, a very, it feels, how can I describe this? A very precise, I've said it before, when things are made of such good quality and of good quality, you feel safe somehow. It's heavy, it's a good grip, and it feels precise, you know there's not going to be any movements. You haven't got to check if something's coming loose, it's, it's just there.
I like this open comb, it's nice. As I say, it looks aggressive maybe, but it's not. It still feels, for me, a mid, a mild to mid. Nice. I must say I like this blade. It's a nice blade. I've shown you the blade, haven't I? The Rapira a Swedish Super Steel. Good. Good um good steel obviously. Wow, that's comfortable. That shaving cream is top notch stuff. I paid about £17 for that. And you get what you paid for. It's so it's it's good stuff. I must have had that a couple of years now, that um, shaving cream. Not using the old tobs for ages. Right, third. This is going well, really nice, no issues, yet. And it's that type of razor, <laughs> again, if you have any issues, it's going to be your fault, not the razors, because it's... <laughs> A poor workman always blames his tools. But, uh, obviously, if you're using a very inexpensive poorly made uh, I used one once from China um, absolutely if I was in this country the company would be closed down it's <laughs> dangerous it was terrible if, if, if you followed me for a long time uh, was it called Hong Long or something I can't remember now I can't remember the razor name but it was a terrible thing It was. you could see that I don't know why I don't know why I used it anyway third pass against the growth using the Russian stainless steel razor. I had to use the from Russia with love because uh, being in Britain, British. That's one of the most uh, iconic Movies, wasn't it? The, the Sean Connery. Yes. He'd have liked the razor. Well, he still would. He's still alive. Oh, there is claret. Slight. Wow, that's nice. No, I think there's a bit of a raised area pimple type thing there. That's what that was. Well, that's my excuse. Isn't it? <laughs> Great, this. Time it is now. I should have learned this in Russian. Three, two, one, pick up time. <laughs> Only I couldn't type because the keyboards we've got can't do it. But I could have um, translated it or something. But uh, anyway, 
three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. I can tell you now, my um, my dentist is Russian. She came from Russia. Uh, she's a surgeon, dental surgeon, and her husband's a facial surgeon, I think, something. And she's a lovely woman, and she's... Um, they always tell me in the in the place any sort of extractions teeth extractions she's the most qualified and the best in the surgery for doing it lovely woman because when i first seen her <laughs> i used to tell her i said just say one thing for me please she said what's that i said just say goodbye mr bond and she did it perfectly <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Bond. I'm not, you know, I'm not good at it, but she's, she was, oh, she's lovely. Was, she is. So good quality razors and top quality dentists. So even on this now, it doesn't feel any more aggressive. Now all the growth's gone. It's I'm right to the skin now. Well, right to clarity. Here. But um, that it feels smooth, very comfortable, nice to hold. You can feel the quality, if that makes sense. You have this safety feeling, I always find that with good stuff. Um, wow. That's beautiful, right? Cold water rinse. And I'll show you what else we're using. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. Yeah, um. <laughs> Different hair. Orange roses, beautiful. I love them. We're going to use my own version of uh, witch hazel and tea tree oil. There we go. Oh, I should have shook that really. Beautiful. If I was a bit quiet in this shave because I was concentrating, I was enjoying because I like to. When you use a razor for the first time, you like to sort of. If you use them at home, obviously you're on your own, so you can concentrate and listen and do, you know. But um, yeah, it's wow. Um, so I can have well, there'll be four. That's the first. There'll be three more shaves trying the other base plates or blade plates gaps. Um, really look forward to that, um, especially the most aggressive. But I wanted to try open comb today. And a really success. It feels, as I say, it's heavy, it's solid, um, no issues, no overhang. Using the Russian blade, be interesting again to use other blades in it. Uh, but that was superb, that blade in that, the Rapira Super, Swedish Super Steel. Um, first, brand new, first use on it. And it feels, as I say, it might look aggressive and all that, but it's really nice. A close shave smooth and um, mild to mid aggression um people say what do you compare it to well what can you compare it to in aggression only um probably yeah d89 
ish um, but that's the only compatibility of them it's uh, is that aggression but uh, yeah right excited now I also was very kindly sent this deja vu um, aftershave from uh, home like shaving and this is pine there was pine cones or pine f uh, fur no is it pine cones yeah like a pine cones um, cinnamon on the website cinnamon and something else uh, sent so I've not opened it so I don't know what it's there we go what it's going to be like oh yeah you can <laughs> so the pine scent fresh green so it's a fresh let's try it fresh green fresh scent forest piney wow tell you what I can smell as well that's unusual for me cinnamon oh cinnamon buns <laughs> have a bit more of this so you got it yeah so you got a cross between the cinnamon and the pine the green so I've never smelled them together and it smells absolutely beautiful and it reminds me of some form of sweets we used to have a similar scent or a oh it could have been a cinnamon bun I'm thinking <laughs> wow that's nice go on that's nice I've never smelled nothing like that before and I purposely didn't open it to have a because sometimes I'll have a sneaky oh that's nice but I didn't because um pine and cinnamon I thought I'd just smell the pine obviously but uh, no you can smell the cinnamon there in the back pine first so it's really nice like a pine I kept that washer here and that is it apart from the cream I'm going to use the uh, because of the pine the tree the birch sap again good stuff this Oh yeah, it goes well together. Wow. So that stopped, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can tell closer. I don't want to scare anybody, but... Very close. Very comfortable. So that is it. So um, thank you, Home Like Shaving. Thank you, Russia. Very kind. Great success for me. Um, as I say, fantastic, good quality. You can tell straight away the weight for a start and you can tell with them, them two slots do it for me now because everything sort of can't move then. It's uh, solid. And yeah, no issues, no overhang, three piece, non-adjustable. But yeah, you can, different plates. Really nice. So thank you so much. I'll put a link to the website, to their YouTube channel. Um, and stuff like that so take a look at it it's really they got other products on there as well um, then we've used the tail of platinum connection collection shaving cream lovely stuff top notch uh, we've used the uh, mocha handle coffee pot thing look alike the 24 mil yaki my red bowl uh, cold Welsh water witch hazel and tea tree oil and the L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Sensitive Birch Sap Aftershave Balm. And um, that is a lovely midweek shave. Very happy. Look forward to using the other plates in future shaves. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Uh, whatever you shaved with today or the rest of the week. Hope you enjoy it. And um, stay safe, stay happy. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.